So, you want to cook some amazing ribs, but you don't have all day. Well, my rib-loving friend, I too used to be a member of Team 225, cooking my ribs all day, wondering when they'll be done. But then I learned a simple trick to make tender, smoky ribs in just two hours. So join me on Team 275, and let's talk about how to get those ribs barbecued quick and easy. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, like we do with any ribs, is we're gonna remove the membrane from the back so we can let that smoke and we can let the rub penetrate into the meat. So let me show you how that works, but first, I'm gonna glove up here with my super heavy duty gloves. Welcome to your examination. Little trick here, all you have to do is grab a paper towel and just look for a corner here. Grab it. And we'll tear off as much as we can. Okay, there we go. So the membrane is off and now we're gonna apply our rub. And this is a fast and easy recipe, so I'm gonna use a basic rub with two ingredients that everyone has in their house, salt and pepper. So just do a 50-50 rub mixture and that recipe's in the description section below if you need it, but all you need to know basically is it's 50-50 salt and pepper. So I've got my handy shaker bottle here that I pre-mixed this in, and I've got some pretty coarse ground salt and pepper. This is kosher salt and really coarse ground pepper, so it's gonna add a lot of texture and it's gonna add some nice flavor. So we'll just really lightly sprinkle that on. And I'm not overdoing it here because you can easily overpower the ribs with a lot of pepper. There we go. Now normally I would let this sit out at room temperature for about a half an hour to dry brine. But in this case, I am doing quick and easy. So we're gonna put it into the Masterbuilt electric smoker right away at 275 degrees. Now it's been about an hour. We're gonna check our ribs with our Therm Pen thermometer. And it's reading at about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the perfect temperature to wrap them at. If it's a bit lower or higher for you, don't worry about it. Just take them out and wrap them. I've got some aluminum foil here and I've applied some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce onto them. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you want. I just like this stuff because it's got a lot of brown sugar in it and it's got a nice flavor complement to pork ribs. So I put that on. I've preheated the sauce so that it cooks faster because if you put cold sauce on these ribs, it's gonna slow down the temperature and the cooking time quite a bit. Then I've just slathered it on, I've painted it on a little bit. Now I'm gonna wrap these up and I'm gonna put them back on the Masterbuilt electric smoker at 275 until the temperature reads about 185 degrees internal. That should take about a half an hour, so we'll check back in one half an hour. After about a half an hour wrapped, your ribs should come up to about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, you wanna check the temperature, confirm that they're up to that temperature, and then unwrap them and place them unwrapped on the top rack of the Masterbuilt. I'm going to reapply a little bit of barbecue sauce here just to spread it over areas that it is missing on, and then I'm gonna leave it for another half an hour to set up that sauce. All right guys, after about a half an hour in the Masterbuilt unwrapped, you're going to wanna take your ribs out they should be sitting at around 185 degrees internal, so give them a double check. And if they're not quite up to that temperature, then maybe you need a couple more minutes in the master belt to get them up. So let's flip these over because it makes it a lot easier to cut them, see where the ribs are running. Because you can see that with these particular spare ribs, the ribs are running diagonal. They're not really straight up and down except for these three right here. So we'll start by cutting right about here there we go and we'll cut another one here and i'm going to go ahead and keep cutting these up all right so let's take a look at this one right from the middle so you can see that got quite a bit of moisture left in it especially over here you can see that moisture bubbling out Give you guys a shot here. See that nice and juicy, squeeze it a little bit. Got some moisture. We got that nice muddy texture from the glazed on sauce and the pepper and the salt. So I'm gonna take a bite of this now. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Nice clean bite marks. It's not fall off the bone, which is the way I like it. You can see the bite mark in it, but it's really tender. Comes apart in your teeth really easily. Mm. That's exactly how we want it. 
And guys, if you're looking for another video that teaches you how to cook ribs at 225 degrees in the Master Belt Smoker with a uh, nice rib glaze from Cosmos Q, then check out this video right here. That's gonna tell you how to make some amazing ribs with a nice glaze. So definitely check that out and I'll see you in that video. See you soon.